This is Alice Muccio on Boca Chamber Radio, and as always, I have the pleasure of talking with Jennifer Jolly and Chef Dominic from the Boca Grove Golf and Tennis Club, and um, we just love everything that you guys do. We love the food. We love the atmosphere. We just love everything about Boca Grove, but um, today's segment we're going to call Chef in the Community. I just got an entire list of all the things that Chef Dominic does, and it's amazing. Um, and I'm going to let you talk about most of them, but let's start with Boca Helping Hands since they're literally like right down the street from here. Just please fill us in. Well, I think it's a great organization. I've uh, been out there a few times. Um, I, I like to bring the members out, and they, and they enjoy coming with me. Uh, and they do a Thursday night family meal, and uh, we've done that a couple uh, And they do a Thursday night family meal, and uh, we've done that a couple times, and we, we bring a few of our members out with us. And it's a cafeteria style. We bring in food, and, and we serve for about an hour and a half, two hours to those that come in for family meal. Um, and I think most of the time it's a one-protein meal that's brought in. Mm-hmm. Well, we came in with probably four or five different dishes and side dishes, and we, oh. were, we were running out of room. We had so much food there, so it was great. That. So it was nice. We, we tried to introduce a few things that maybe they're not used to getting, fresh fish and things like that on a normal basis. So. And the members love it. They're always looking to to go out there and do that dinner. So we try to do a couple of them. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of fun. It's a great place over there. And, small uh, kitchen, though. Small kitchen. We come in ready to go. Yeah. We bring it in cooked. We just heat and surf. And so yeah. it works out nice. And, it's uh, a nice place. Yeah, it's a great event. Yeah, great, I really, really spot. like that place. Okay, uh, nice. so let's talk about Quantum House. Well, um, you know, being in the country club and and i'm fortunate that the club supports what we do out in the community and they encourage me to do that and i enjoy doing that so i've been involved with a lot of charities here in palm beach county for quite some time quantum house is one of the ones that i've been with for a while they're similar to a ronald mcdonald house Mm -hmm. and they're located next to st mary's hospital on 45th street and there are small apartments that uh, families can stay while their children are in the hospital and they can stay anywhere from a couple days to a couple weeks to a couple months Mm -hmm. Uh, so we do a big fundraiser for them every year, and um, we work closely with uh, the Breakers Hotel and Kravitz Center in our association, and we raise money for them. Uh, Children's Home Society is is another event that we've been involved with for many years, and we do an ultimate dinner party for them each year. And I get my staff involved from the club, and um, uh, that's been a, a really good one. One of the newest ones that we just got involved with is called Renewal Coalition, and um I get uh, my staff involved with that as well. And it's um, similar to Wounded Warriors. It's a home up in Jupiter that houses uh, Wounded Warriors and their families on vacation. Oh, that's so nice. So we go up and we do a big fundraiser for them. And um, I try to get up there while they're in, in town, the families, and cook a meal for them. You know, it's Saturday or Sunday meal. So it's a lot of fun. And my staff really enjoys doing it. And, um, again, having the support of the club uh, makes it a lot easier. You know, I tell a lot of uh, our colleagues and those that are in our association, it's so easy for us as chefs, especially during the holidays. You know, uh, we're cooking, we cooked about 80 turkeys for Thanksgiving to put another two turkeys in. I can't imagine. I barely <laughs> can cook one. And yeah. cook 80. <laughs> so, if, you know, if you cook an extra two or three turkeys and give it to somebody, that means a lot to it. It doesn't, it doesn't take much. Yeah. It's really simple. That's so nice. You know, so we, uh, we try to get out there in the community and do quite a bit of that. We did a Thanksgiving event here for a, a church here on the east side uh, through the Club Managers Association, and we had to prepare uh, whipped potatoes for a 1,000 and gravy for a 1,000 on <laughs> Tuesday of Thanksgiving. Wow. So you should have seen the uh, back of his truck. It was Man, interesting. Actually. I uh, can't imagine. It was a lot of fun. You know, we enjoyed doing that kind of stuff. That's great. There. I do have a, a question that I always like to ask chefs. What is your favorite thing to cook? <laughs> oh, wow. Um, and favorite thing to eat? <sighs> Two, I'm, two I'm pretty. I'm pretty simple. Um, you know, if, if you ask my wife, she'd say I'm happy if I get a cheeseburger and French fries at home. So, and you know, I'm not too really fancy. Um, uh, I'm really not home all that much, especially in season. So, yeah. uh, I don't really uh, cook too much at home these days. But uh, I'm pretty simple. Yeah, I like a simple meal. Yeah, oh, that's nothing good. Nothing too fancy. Nothing wrong with but, that. Um, you know, I, I, I enjoy doing that part at the club. You know, we do a lot of wine dinners, and, and Jennifer has now gotten involved with, with that at the club. So, you know, we're looking forward to, to doing more of that. Do you want to talk about the wine dinners, Jennifer? Um, sure. So 
we actually, uh, our food and beverage director, I should speak of Pierre a little bit too. Um, Pierre Leone has been doing that at the club for a long time, and he mm-hmm. has a group of members that um, basically they're sort of this, their, own, their own little wine society, so to speak. And I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they, they bring in their own wine and then um, Pierre and Chef work with them on, on menus and they work forward. And that's that does that works. That's not mm-hmm. broken. That's a fantastic program that we have and that we'll continue to do. And Pierre pilots that very, very well. Yes. Um, one of the things that I kind of bring to the table a little bit because of my history is um, more of a winemaker's dinner. So we're looking more things along those lines where we actually bring in either the owner of a vineyard or a winemaker or a master sommelier who also is part of a winemaking process. Mm -hmm. And then they can sit down, they can have a dinner and a conversation with somebody that actually creates the wine and gives them a different perspective on how we get to those places. So our first one I think we're doing is in February, and we'll see how that goes and and move from there. Yeah, you can do different formats and just a matter of, what chef wants to do it's all about creativity wow so you really you are just all over the place in a good way um because that can sound negative and i didn't mean it to be (laughs) negative i meant as far as all the different things that you do for your members um what a great place to live that must be i mean there's so much so you've got stuff for the kids you've got stuff for the adults you've got you know a little bit for everything so um I guess I'll be moving in soon. Mm-hmm. I would just, love that. You know, I would still love that. I've got a condo we just renovated uh-huh. that's all ready to go. Okay, so. we'll talk about that. Um, 107, first floor, great location. <laughs> Do you take pets? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, then we'll talk. Of course talk. we're dog friendly. Don't we'll be talk. ridiculous. We're, we're, we're a perfect size club. I've worked in larger clubs and smaller clubs, but I think we're a perfect size club that we're able to do a lot of those special events because we're not too big or we're not too small that we can't afford to do uh, different venues, uh, pop-up dinners, wine dinners, uh, even going out and doing charity events. We're, we're at the perfect size club here in Boca, I think, at, at the number we are. Yep, and you're in such a great location, right by the Turnpike and Glade. So, mm-hmm. yep. um, well, thank you both for being with us. Yeah, thank you. And um, Jennifer, you want to just let them know if anybody has any questions, how they can reach you? That would be great, sure. Um, you can reach me at the club. Our phone number is 561 487 Five three zero zero, and either Paula or Marsha will answer the phone and just ask for me. And I'm happy to help out, whether it's a non-resident golf membership, whether it's a catering event or a special event, uh, anything at all. I'm the marketing director there, so I can answer just about any question and get you to who you need. Great. Thank you very much. This has been Allison Muccio for Boca Chamber Radio. Boca.